Hey guys, for today's video, we are gonna do a product review. So this product, it's probably been out for a while and I'm just now hearing about it because I don't keep up with social media trends and all that. I'm working on that though, I'm trying to get better about it. But this is by Heritage. This is a two-in-one curling iron and straightener and it also has a built-in vent which helps cool your curl. I don't know, we're gonna test it, it looks cool. It's affordable. I'm gonna link it in my description box for you guys to check out if we end up liking this. Yeah, let's give it a shot. So obviously anytime we are putting on heat, we should be using a heat protectant. This is my favorite. I've used it probably for like eight years now. It's paraben free, it's by Chi. It is their thermal protection spray. It is amazing. I find that a lot of heat protectants make my hair either stiff or, oh, I just got it in my mouth, or, like greasy, oily, disgusting. <laughs> I just kind of brush this through and you don't want to use your curling iron or straightener or anything right after. You want it to kind of just dry for a minute so you can use a blow dryer or just wait like I'm gonna do. So yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna read some of the features off of their website. It says it has curved edges for curling and straightening, a built-in fan to cool hair and lock and shine, titanium plates, LED, and it, well, we don't care about that. 280 degrees Fahrenheit to 430 degrees Fahrenheit, heat range, auto shut off after 60 minutes for all hair types and textures. So this sounds promising. I don't know about you, but I cannot curl my hair with a straightener. It just doesn't work. I'm gonna show you the straightener I use. I've had this one forever. It is Barbie pink. It is so stinking cute, but it's by Chi and I love this thing, but I cannot curl well with it. It's like my hair just gets kinky. It gets stuck. I just, I use this for straightening and that is it. But let me section off my hair real quick. Just gonna brush my hair out. Okay, so here is what this bad boy looks like. It has that swivel cord, which is nice. There's only two buttons. You have an on button right here you have the fan button. So you can actually turn the fan off if you do not want it on. Like that. You do not have to have the fan on if you don't want it, you can have it off. You can turn it to 330, 360, 390, and 420. And I think that's it, yep. It's got this little clasp here, has the titanium plates. Really lightweight, super easy to hold. I like to turn my curling iron at about like 350, so 360 I guess will work for this. Oh, oh, you hear that? I was expecting it to be a lot louder. So let me try this side. I'm just gonna give it a, one minute to warm up. So I'm gonna just put it through like this. Ooh, this is very smooth feeling. I'm gonna do a 360. Like that, make sure my ends are out. And I'm just gonna, ooh, this is smooth. It's not pulling my hair out like my straightener does. I'm just going very slow at first. And I'm just gonna lift it off. Oh, oh. okay. Let's try that again. Clamp it on, do a 360. So I'm going a little bit slow because I want to make sure that fan cools it. So my husband ended up calling me, so I muted it, but I just went very slow in the beginning. I think it was still warming up, so that was my fault. I should have waited for it to warm up. I was just really excited to use it. But you can see when I take it off, it just creates the most beautiful curl like that. I'm gonna curl towards my face and away from my face just so my curls don't like stick together, you know? So looking back, I wish I wouldn't have alternated every other section, maybe just every few sections, but just heads up for you. Butter, butter. It is not pulling my hair, it's not slipping out. It is staying nice and intact. I'm gonna curl some of these pieces again. Honestly, it was my fault that some of these pieces weren't as curly as they should have been because I did not let my heat protectant dry like I should have. So, user error, but if you're gonna use heat protectant, make sure it's dry. There's no reason why short hair, thick hair, long hair, thin hair, fine hair can't use this. Like, it. look at that. Look how easy that is. Let's try this piece over here. Just to see, does it straighten well? Yes. <laughs> Look at that, nice and straight. 
Let's do this one in front. You can see that's not straightened. Let's straighten it. So remember, as I'm going down, the fan is cooling it. So this is going to set your curls, set everything into place. So it should, if you have trouble curling your hair, hair your curls falling out, this should help. I like it. All right, I'm gonna curl this side. And if I wasn't blabbering, this would take me like probably 10 minutes. And I do see the shine element. I do notice my hair when I take it off, it is smooth. Look at that. Look how pretty that curl is. Are you kidding me right now? So again, I'm just alternating directions. Whenever I see like products go viral, are they posting it to make money? Is it actually good? I don't know. So I always like to just try it, buy it for myself. If it doesn't work, I return it. I make sure before I buy it that they have like a good return policy. Most companies, if they're legit, have a good return policy, usually like 30 days. So I will not be returning this. <laughs> it is really good. I am very impressed by this. Just look at this. My hair is looking Gorgina. All right, I was talking way too much, so I just kept it moving and sped through all this because I was like, they don't want to see me just curl every section of my hair. I basically curled off my hair. I left one section out. As I was curling my head, I was just kind of experimenting with different ways to kind of curl it. So what I was doing is I was doing 360 like this, going down, going up, going down, going up, going down, going up, and then releasing. And it gives me a really nice curl. I will say the pros of this, it literally glides through your hair. It does not like pull it, get stuck like it does with a straightener. Um, very, very, very smooth. I like that I can hold on to this part too. Like it's, it's still hot, but I can hold on to this without burning my hand off. I like the little clasp thingy, nice. I like the plates, I like it all. It's a very sleek design, easy to hold, very lightweight. One kind of complaint is the buttons. I found that like as I was curling my hair, I kept accidentally hitting the temperature button. So it kept, <laughs> so I kept hitting it and then I would notice I was at like 450 and I was like, oh crap. So I had to keep messing with that and I think that's kind of user error maybe. Um, so I just need to pay more attention as I'm doing it, make sure I don't hit those buttons. But really, other than that, that's kind of it. I mean, it worked really well. You can see my curls look absolutely stunning. Your curls will turn out really beautiful. So I'm just gonna show you guys them from the back. Hopefully I curled my hair. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't miss any spots back here, but if I did, you know what? The back is none of my business at all. Brush them out. Oh yeah, gorgeous, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in and touch up some pieces because like I said, I was just kind of playing around with how to use it. And then once I really got going at the end, that's when I kind of figured out how I liked my curl patterns. Like I said earlier, I wish I wouldn't have alternated directions as much. All right, I'm back. Just touched up a couple pieces that I curled towards my face and ended up curling them away from my face because I just thought it looked better. So ignore what I said about alternating. I mean, still alternate, but like not do it as frequently. I don't know. Or don't, don't do it at all, I don't care. I think these curls turned out gorgeous. I, I really like the product, I really truly do. I'm definitely gonna be using this more often when I do use heat on my hair, which isn't a lot, because I do like to kind of keep my hair healthy, but I think if you're using a heat protectant every time when you use a curling iron and a straightener, you should be okay. Guys, let me know what you think. I'm gonna do a 360, show you guys some up close in the back, and let me know. Oh, and here's me using hairspray. I'm really curious to know if anyone has tried this product or if you've tried products from Heritage. I've tried other products from them and I really like them. If you try it, let me know. And I hope you guys like this review. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.